High blood sugar happens when the body has too little insulin, closely linked to diabetes. Untreated hyperglycemia can lead to heart attack, stroke, and nerve damage. If you want to lower your blood sugar fast, eating a healthy, balanced diet is a must. There are many ways to reduce high blood sugar levels. These measures will help keep your sugar levels in check so you don't suffer any consequences. Here are some of these simple tricks that may just be enough for most people. Watch video completely to find out about them. 1. Eat more watery foods. Water helps flush out toxins from the system, which improves our overall health and well-being. Drinking water also helps prevent constipation and bloating. When you drink more water, it will not only flush out toxins but also improve bowel function. You should aim to get at least 1 liter, about 1.6 ounce, each day. Also, try drinking at least 4 glasses of water every day in order to maintain ideal body weight. This will not only help control your blood pressure and sugar level, but will also increase your metabolism and energy levels. It has also been found that drinking water before meals significantly reduces hunger and increases fullness. 2. Eat whole grains and low glycemic index grains. Whole grains are rich in fiber and have very low glycemic index. They can reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes and heart disease, and they are a good source of complex carbohydrates that boost your metabolism, lower triglycerides, and help keep you feeling fuller for longer periods of time. When selecting your foods, make sure you include whole grains into your daily choices. In addition, Consume more natural fats and choose fruits and vegetables over highly processed foods. Avoid trans fats and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, and you are much better off. 3. Include legumes and garlic into every diet plan. Legumes, such as chippias, lentils, black beans, chippia salads, and edamame beans, are excellent sources of protein, folate, and copper that help boost your immune system. Consider adding garlic and legume grains like quinoa, beans, and chickpeas to every meal plan to create great tasting recipes. You also include garlic and chives into your meals because both have a powerful antimicrobial agent that keeps foodborne bacteria and viruses on the lower end of the spectrum. 4. Consume small amount of carbohydrates. The recommended daily intake of carbohydrates for people who suffer from diabetes is between 200 to 300 grams per day. However, if you have a sweet tooth, you might want to reconsider this rule. Many people love eating cakes or desserts at their favorite places like fancy cafes. While there are several different types of sweets, there could be an unhealthy side effect. That's why it is important to opt for smaller amounts of carbohydrates. For example, consider eating a couple of slices of bread or two pieces of fruit instead of a whole slice. Make sure you know exactly how a snack was made before indulging yourself in the treat. Be sure to avoid sugary drinks because they will give you a headache and increase your sugar levels faster than ever. 5. Try not to overdo your smoothie mixes. The goal for smoothies is to help consumers feel fuller and stay calmer throughout the day with the added bonus of giving them a nutritious way to enjoy a delicious drink, but they're addictive, too. According to research by Dr. Mark Fonseca, author of Smoothie Secrets, the average adult consumer takes almost 20 smoothies per week, causing consumers to drink a lot of water and consuming a large amount of sugars in addition to their beverages. The extra sugar content combined with the fact that this product contains artificial colors and sweeteners cause consumers to become overenthusiastic. Use alternatives when dealing with your smoothies, especially fruits. Instead of topping your bottle and pouring one out, toss a carrot or apple instead. Or make a smoothie that offers something more nutritional and is healthier tasting. 6. Get moving with exercise. Stress has been proven to contribute to the development of obesity, high blood pressure, and heart disease. Studies have shown that exercise provides numerous health benefits, including reduced risk factors for cancer, hypertension, type 2 diabetes, and depression. As a result, try taking a walk for 30 minutes each day, 
or just go a few steps every now and then. Have an hour of moderate cardio at the gym and 10-15 minutes of flexibility training. Walk along the sidewalks a couple times a day, or even run on a treadmill. All in all, choose to take a step toward the direction of more positive emotions and a better outlook on life. If you guys are enjoying this video, in which I have put a lot of time and energy to actually do, I would really appreciate it if you guys tap the like button and make sure you subscribe with notification on. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.